Namaste, I'm Sushmita, your Juru Yogi, and today I'm going to show you a few asanas for long flights and frequent travelers. Sit up nice and tall on your chair. Inhale and raise your arms straight up in line with your ears. And lift and expand through the whole rib cage, keeping your spine nice and long. As you breathe out, fold forward from your hip joints, moving your body from your head to your pelvis as one unit while keeping the spine nice and straight. Firm your inner thighs together, draw the outer hips back and down, allowing your pelvis to remain stable and rooted in the chair. Relax your head and let your arms naturally drop down. Try and grab the toes if possible or hold any part of your leg that you can comfortably reach and relax. As you inhale, pull the breath all the way from the heels up the length of the legs into the pelvis floor. And as you exhale, follow the breath up the spine through the arms and complete the circuit of breath. To exhale, come out and slowly sit up straight. Stretch the arms up and then relax. Next we'll move on to the cat cow stretch, Marjari Asana. Cat cow stretch warms up the entire body and brings flexibility to the spine which tends to get stiff due to prolonged sitting. Lengthen your spine and place the hands on your thighs or on your knees. Inhale and gently draw your chest forward and up as you allow it to expand. At the same time, roll your shoulders back and look in the upward direction. As you exhale, drop your chin closer to your chest, round your spine, pull your shoulder blades forward and gaze at your navel. Repeat the movement five to six times, synchronizing it with the breath. Next, we'll have a look at the Eagle Pose or Garudasana. When done on a chair, this pose works as upper body workout and releases shoulder tension effectively. Sit with a straight spine and extend the arms out in front of you parallel to the floor. Cross the arms in a manner that the right arm is above the left and bend your elbows with the right elbow resting on the left elbow. Your palms will be facing each other as you raise your forearms and keep them perpendicular to the floor, giving a deep stretch to your shoulders. Remember to keep the chest nice and lifted. And you can practice this pose either by simply placing your legs on the floor or crossing over one leg like you would in a standing variation. Keep the hands in the same position and cross the left leg over the right. If possible, go all the way and hook the left foot behind the right calf. To come out of the pose, release the arms, release the crossing at the legs and repeat the same stretch with the left arm above, the right and the right leg over the left. Next we'll have a look at the cow face pose or Ghomukhasana. This is another great hip opener in yoga with the added reward of a shoulder and chest stretch. If you can, sit with both your knees bent such that one knee is directly over the other knee. If sitting like this on a tiny chair feels uncomfortable, then simply sit straight and place your feet firmly on the floor or cross your legs such that the left knee is above the right. For the upper body stretch, reach the right arm up and tap the middle of your shoulder blades as you bend at your elbow. You might even use your left hand to gently pull the right elbow down behind you as you gaze forward. Now, take the left arm out to the side, bend the elbow and place the back of your left hand between your shoulder blades and hook your fingers. If you are unable to hook your fingers, you may use a strap or a towel to connect your hands. Lift your chest up high while drawing your back elbow down and your top elbow up. Now fold down over your legs as you bring your chin over your knees and breathe. To release, slowly lift up, releasing the clasp of your hands and feet coming back into a comfortable seated position. 
you can repeat the stretch with the left elbow pointing up and the right elbow pointing down. If sitting cross-legged or with knees bent, remember to switch the legs too. You can also try this asana with these judo props. Next we'll have a look at some easy ankle, neck and shoulder rolls. Sit up tall as you draw the shoulder blades down and away from the ears, keeping your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. Now, slowly lower your chin towards your chest and hold for a few cycles of breath. Relax and slowly lift your head back up. Tilt your chin up toward the ceiling and bring the base of your skull toward your back. As you hold this pose, send the breath into the throat as you relax the back of the neck and gently bring it back to center. Tilt your head toward your right shoulder without lifting up the shoulders. And for an extra stretch, you can place your hands over your tilted head and press lightly with your fingertips. Repeat on the left side. Thank you.